Okay, this video is for anyone who is creating content on the internet or for client projects or just generally any kind of content that you hope to monetize. This is also a continuation to my last video where I showed you how to make some digital assets for free in my favorite image editor software, Affinity Photo. You can find that video up in the corner right there. Not sponsored. I know it's great to learn how to make your own assets and be entirely self-sufficient, but that is just not always in the cards for every kind of asset. So I thought I'd just step up today and show you the sources that I use to get the assets that I need for my content entirely for free. Let's get into it. Now, music is an essential part of every sort of video content there is. It can be in the background, making the video just feel more alive, or it can be highlighting the action in some silky smooth B-roll. Whatever the use case, finding copyright free music can be a complete pain. And throw in the fact that there are semi copyrighted music that are just going to confuse the crap out of you. So where and how could you ever find copyright free music? Well, first source that I would recommend is a wonderful thing called Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Harris is a fellow content creator, I'll link his channel in the description below, who saw the problems that content creators and streamers were facing with copyright free music, with copyrighted music, and dealt with it in the most alpha way possible. Fine, I'll do it myself. So he went and hired artists all around from different sources and had music created to just then simply give it out for free for anyone to use, including you. Now, if you think this sounds too good to be true, the Streambeats website also has a downloadable link for the actual legal license that you can get so you will be 100% safe from any sort of repercussions. And he's gotten the music whitelisted on both YouTube and Twitch. So the automatic content detection system th stuff will not flag it in any at any point. Now, if Streambeats doesn't get you the exact thing and the feeling that you're looking for, there are also other ways to get music. Of course, if you're making content for YouTube, you can use the free music library that YouTube offers for their creators. But do keep in mind that those songs are only allowed to be used on YouTube, nowhere else. Another place to get music with a license for free is this website called Upbeat. Now, if you've heard of sites like Epidemic Sounds, where you just pay a subscription and get a free license to use all of their massive libraries, then Upbeat is pretty much the same, except with one big difference. Upbeat allows you to create a free account that you can then use to download a limited amount of songs each month, I think it's around 10, that you can then use in your content and with the download they provide the license to use it but there is one big but here and that is the fact that upbeat considers using a song in a video once to be the one use per month of that song so if you want to use the same song again in a different video you're gonna have to go and re-download it so you can get a new license for the other video. So keep that in mind. All right, that's about it for music. Now let's hop into So keeping up with the theme of audio here, sound effects provide you a way to give your content some pizzazz, some accoutrement, something more extra to just decorate it and make it a, just a little bit more. But just like music, most sound effects are actually copyrighted. So if you thought that you can just simply clip a movie or a game, it's not that simple. So to help safeguard you from the possible pitfalls that you would face when you're a giant YouTuber or a content creator, here are the ways that you can get 
copyright free sound effects. Now, sadly, there isn't exactly anything like stream beats for sound effects, but there are some sites that you can look at to get some effects of different qualities. First up, there's Motion Array. It's a site with all sorts of digital assets that you can get from After Effects templates to stock videos to music to stock photos, but they also have, you guessed it, sound effects. Now with a free account, you're once again limited to a certain amount of downloads per month. But the ones that you can download are extremely high quality, so you should always go look and see if you can get some good ones every month, possibly. Motion Array also has some free music, so if you need some more music sources, you can use that. Another option you can go to is Mixkit. It's a site that has, once again, stock video, stock music, stock templates, but once again, you have, of course, sound effects. The upside of Mixkit is the fact that you don't have to create an account to be able to download the stuff and you're not faced with a monthly limit. But the downside of Mixkit is the fact that the library is quite small. So finding exactly what you want can be pretty difficult. And sometimes you might just not get anything close to it. My third suggestion is to simply grab your mic and record what you need. Downloading a software like Audacity and learning how to edit sounds a little bit is a massively useful tool that you would have in your content creation toolkit. I might even do a little tutorial one day on how to make your own SFX, which I do every now and then. Now, I'll actually start repeating myself a little bit here because the sites that I've mentioned so far also go as far as to offer free stock video footage as well as possibly photos. But the free libraries are extremely limited. So if you want free stock video, you're probably better off going on to some, some of the sites that I use for all of my stock photos. So sites like Pixabay and Pexels both have quite a large pool or a library of stock video and photos. Now, most of the content that I've seen have had no attribution required and were free for commercial use. Just keep your eye on those when you go and download them. And that is why that is what I would use whenever I need stock video or stock photos. And that's all the sources that I use for all of the digital asset needs that I have. Of course, if I simply had the means, I would have a subscription to Epidemic Sounds and Storyblocks. But at this point, having had to do the search for the good free stuff will work to the benefit of all of you who are in the same boat as me. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to show your support. Comment down below if there's any other sources that you can think of that everyone should know about. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lofi. And I hope you all have a great day. Okay? Bye.